Hey everybody, it's me, Aggie, and I'm hopping on here for a quick impromptu resin session. No makeup or anything, so don't mind what I look like. But if you've never mixed resin, um, this will be a good thing for you to see, especially if it's, you know, your first time. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what I have done so far. Turn this around. Um, okay, so... I am using KS resin. I really like this resin, but you can use art resin. And, um, you know, you just always want something that's, um, you know, safe, you know, zero VOCs, low odor and all of that. So um, the resin, it's a two part resin. You mix them together in exactly equal parts. It's important that it's by um, measuring, not by not by weight. You cannot use a scale to do this. You have to measure the exact amount, the exact same amount of resin as you do hardener. And you want to make sure that you put the white lid back on the the resin and the black lid back on the hardener. You pour the resin in first. And I need five ounces, so I poured in two and a half uh, ounces of resin into this measuring cup and put the lid back on. And then I, actually this is the hardener. The hardener is always a little bit more yellow. So here's my resin. I poured the resin in here, exactly two and a half ounces. And then in another cup, I measured two and a half ounces of the hardener and I'm going to add the hardener to the resin and I'm going to make sure I get all of that out of my cup. I'll show you how to do that in one second. I'm going to have to put the phone in, in my mount because I'm going to need two hands. But we're going to mix this thoroughly. We're not going to whip it. We're going to gently, slowly mix it for at least three minutes. All right. And I'm trying to avoid making it drip off. It's okay if you wipe it on the side of the glass, but because we're going to thoroughly, um, um, you know, wipe the rim of the glass. So here's my table where I've got my um, items ready that I am going to pour resin onto. Let me turn the camera around. And put you guys in the mount. <laughs> Bear with me while I change change the whole configuration here so that you can see all of this all right let's see if we can put it right here and yes i think that's going to work you see my big messy studio i don't mean big studio i mean big mess oh gosh all right let me go over here and grab this So there's actually still quite a bit of hardener in here and I'm gonna get the rest of it into my cup so I'm using you could use a wooden um, popsicle stick I just you know recently bought one that's coated I saw my friend Tammy using it, and I'm like, I want to get that. <laughs> so I ordered it off of Amazon. So it's really important that you get all of this out of there so that it's the same exact measurement as the, the other half. Okay, and then I'm going to put my, well, I can't really put my timer on since I'm on my phone. But, um, so we're just going to mix this like this. Let me check the time on my regular old fashioned clock over here. Okay, it's exactly 9.32. Oh, somehow I got a hair in there. I don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to just gently mix this. And 
What happens when you're mixing resin is it gets a little bit cloudy and then it starts to get clear. And it, it starts to thicken. You have like an open time of about 45 minutes with most resins, I believe. I mean, each resin is different and you always want to consult the manufacturer. It seems like way too much all the time. Um, I used the Art Resin Calculator and they do notoriously tell you more than you really need and you have to use it. You can't save it, you know, once it hardens, that's it. Usually I have something else ready just in case and uh, I don't think I have anything else ready to resin just in case I have extra. So you might see me wasting some resin. Oh, I hope not. Hmm. Um, and what we're going to do is just drizzle the resin wherever you've got the, you know, highest amount of stuff. We kind of anticipate where it would seep and spread and start there. My husband doesn't know I'm live, so he might start talking to me. He's upstairs. In which case, I'll yell to him, I'm live right now. <laughs> he knows what that means by now. <laughs> And believe it or not, my hand does get a little bit tired from mixing. So there are air bubbles in there and that's completely unavoidable. You just don't wanna whip it and get micro bubbles in there. Those are hard to get out. Every once in a while, you wanna scrape the sides. Um, what's, it's really important that resin is measured very accurately and that it is mixed very thoroughly. Of course, I have an itchy nose. Itchy nose right now. And um, there is a very slight odor, but it's, it, it's completely safe, this stuff. If you do have, uh, I don't know, any, any issues, you can always wear a respirator, but you really, um, most people don't really need to do that. I mean, there's even VOCs and Sharpie markers. So it's 9.30. It's almost 9.36. So I'm almost on four minutes. So, so that's fine. And it's starting to look clear. It looks pretty good. And I think I am ready. So I did glue down some of these pieces. If you do use, you could use like a clear Elmer's glue. If you do use glue, you have to make sure it's completely dry before you pour resin on it because it won't, it won't work. If it's, if anything's wet, you don't want any water or any, any moisture. Um, and um, something else I did here, <laughs> um, which I kind of think is pretty genius. I've got this little bumblebee in its a pin. It's got a metal um, loop through the back of it. And so it would wobble if I would try and lay it. I want to put it right here on my pumpkin. And it was wobbling. So what I did is I took a few of these bubbles, we call them. Let's see if I can show you them. You can get these at um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. They look like little bubbles. They're just little um, acrylic discs and they look really good on with resin work. They, they just really reflect the light. So anyway, I glued a couple of those bubbles into the back bottom of the wings of the, of the bumblebee so that it won't wobble quite so much. Pretty genius, right? And I hope that that's dry enough. I think it is. So anyway, um, I don't wanna to forget to put my B on there. Um, 
All right, I think I'm ready. I'm gonna start drizzling. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with um, this one. Let me put this cup over here so I don't forget about it. And really all you wanna do is um, like drizzle like this. You wanna use the, the smallest amount of resin possible um, if you, it's almost like if you dump too much resin on, it, it coats, it coats too much and doesn't look as, it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as shiny. But boy, it sure is magical. And you want to make sure you cover every single thing. Um, now I do have some flat surfaces on here. And I'm going to have, I've got like layers, so some of it is going to drip down. And I personally don't mind that. It's going to drip down the sides of the canvas, I mean, and I um, I don't mind doing that. I don't mind letting that drip like that. That's kind of my style, my little trademark thing that I do, <laughs> if you will, you know. Um, so I'm going to let that kind of seep and spread a little bit, and in a little while, I, I'm going to need to... Um, flatten out the resin on the flat part of the canvas. So it looks like I got someone here with me. Who's here with me? Um, now I'm gonna do this one. And again, I just kind of get a little thin stream going and drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. If you're new to this, you're gonna love this part. <laughs> It's just magical. So yeah, I, I just started using KS resin. Art resin is, it's just, it's pricey. And KS resin is about, uh, I forgot what I figured out, 40% cheaper. And every bit is good, you know? I think art resin has been around longer. I do want to get this down in there. So I'm trying to cover the high points. You know, what happens with resin is it, it, it seeks its own level. It will, it will flatten out. It really looks good on the clear parts, the clear little pieces. Okay, now we're gonna do this, this guy. Fun, fun, fun. Who do I have here with me? Oh, we got two people here with me. Hello, hello. I just thought I would do a, an impromptu little resin pouring. Um, most of you guys in this group have done this. We do have a new friend. My friend Yoli just joined. Hello, if you're there. Is it Yoli? I think it's Yoli. Yolanda, right? And I know she's never done resin. Well, actually, I don't know for sure, but I don't think she's ever done resin. So she's a newbie, I think. And I thought it wouldn't hurt to show this. I mean, I am going to show this, um, you know, on Christmas trees galore. But since I was resining tonight, I thought I would just hop on here real quick. Oh, I don't have my comments turned on. So if you're saying something, I'm so sorry. I can't see comments right now. Um, sorry, sorry. Oh boy, pretty, pretty. 
yeah, I am going to have quite a bit of resin left. So maybe I will do the sides of this big canvas. And for that, you can just use a, a gloved hand. And what we're going to do is check it for air bubbles. There will be little bubbles that rise up and you can just use a, a heat gun or um, a, like a creme brulee torch. I have one of those, but I think the butane ran out and I'm afraid I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to refill it. Isn't it pathetic? <laughs> I'm like nervous about it. <laughs> All right, so let's come back to this. And what I'm gonna do is spread this resin to the edges of the canvas. Here too. Sometimes I, I, like, I love using metallic paint. I just love the way that looks. Um, when resin is on top of it, it looks so, so pretty. But it kind of pulls away from the edge, I've noticed. And I think it's from the metallic paint, to tell you the truth. So I don't know what to do about that. All right, I better save some for this one. Okay, so now... Oh, oh, I am seeing comments. Hi. Oh, you have worked with resin. Okay, good, good. All right, so now I'm just going to spread it to the edge. And I like leaving the drips. So I'm going to leave the drips. Oh, God, I just knocked that. Got to be careful. I'm so glad you joined us. <laughs> I love your bathroom, by the way. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so gorgeous. It's already gorgeous, but it's gonna be even more gorgeous. <laughs> so yeah, I think you have about 45 minutes of open time to deal, to, to use this resin. And like I say, I really like it. It's, it, I mean, it smells, to me, it smells exactly like art resin. And it's a lot cheaper. I mean, this is not the UV safe one. Um, Nothing is really completely UV safe. You probably know that. And I'm new to resin over glass and cutting glass. Yes, I know that. And, um, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, do I want to do the sides of the big one? Yeah, I think I, I, think I do. So this is going to be a little bit of uh, maneuvering and work here. So I kind of make it fall over the edge and then quickly spread it. And, you know, it does work. Um, yeah, and, you know, you have to have it lifted off off of the surface. Otherwise, it'll, it'll be glued to whatever surface you have the canvas on. So I've got these on little cups. Oh, Yoli, what time is it there? This is this is late for me. <laughs> not really. It's not really that late, but kind of. It's dark outside here. It's probably not dark by you. Um, these are all stretched canvas. 
but oftentimes I do use cradle board, yes. And I painted them with um, metallic paint. It makes all the difference. Um, Anita's, you know, from Hobby Lobby, Anita's white metallic paint. Or um, th the white comes in a big uh, bottle, eight ounce bottle, I think, or it might be 16 ounces, I'm not sure. But in the craft size bottle, you can get um, this off-white color. I'm forgetting the name of it. And I love this color. I wish they sold this color in the larger bottle, but they don't. Okay, that's a lot of resin on here. Okay, so, yeah, I only did the sides of the big one. And I think it looks pretty good. Oh, I need to put my little, my bumblebee on here. Almost forgot. And I don't really want to pour resin on the bumblebee because, oops, one of the little things came off. Um, oh, well, we'll just have to deal with it. Because if you pour resin in on top of little jewels like that, they will, um, they won't sparkle anymore. No, oh, this is a very sturdy canvas and it's so small it's, and this stuff isn't that heavy, you know? It's a cradled uh, canvas. 748, yeah. Okay, oops. Yeah, oh, I'm glad I added the bumble, the little bumblebee. I got that, um, where did I get that? I think I got that from the button section at Hobby Lobby. All right, so I'm gonna take these gloves off and there's an art to doing this too, <laughs> just carefully. And um, I'm gonna grab my heat gun. This is, this is not gonna sound too great, but I'm gonna grab my heat gun. You're gonna hear my heat gun going, sorry. All the little air bubbles pop. You just don't want to get too close. You want to keep it moving. And um, it's, it's the heat that does it, you know. And then more air bubbles will come up again. Uh, you know, you should check it like every 15 minutes or so. And I'll take the camera out of the mount and show you how it looks. Okay. So much fun. All right, let's see if I can do this. I look like chit. Looky there. Oh, pretty, pretty. Isn't he a cute little bumblebee? There's some kind of little thing right there on the edge. Hmm, I don't know what that is. <laughs> You're so nice. 
Look at this one. He's got a little bit of a face. <laughs> That's the first time I've done it like that. And this one is going to, it's like he's just filled with good stuff in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. You could, you, my, my torch, it's, it's sitting over here. Uh, it's been sitting here for a long time, and I just need to... I'm a, I'm nervous about it. Somebody needs to go through this with me and and help me do that. <laughs> I know. we got to do a sugar skull. Yes. Oh, I know. So anyway, that's it. Oh, I've painted sugar skulls. Is that what you mean? Oh, it's, it's easy to refill that? The, um... The creme brulee torch. <laughs> it's just one of those things you don't know, you know, how 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 hard to do it and all that stuff. So it's a little scary, you know. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's it. I hope you got something out of this. Um, and I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to. So, oh, and the reason why I've got these popsicle sticks on the corners is that then I'm going to take my... Um, take this here make sure there's no dust on it because this was on the floor and I'm going to put this over um, and cover this up overnight so that nothing falls on there because we're in my basement and you know it, it can be oh just you know there's always stuff there's always stuff floating around right <laughs> so anyway what did you use for the greenery oh okay the greenery was um, believe it or not, some of it was this mosaic accents. Is this backwards? Or can you read that? I always get confused. Oops, wrong way. Now you can read it. <laughs> so some of those those interesting looking shapes are from this. Isn't that cool? And then um the these are marbles i've got like a jar of marbles from hobby lobby and i've got beads and then i've got just different things that i've cut up um like the the little the blue green right there was from this little votive believe it or not just this silly little votive that i got at goodwill for 99 cents and i just used my nippers and um, and I'm going to show you this in the class. And I just nipped, I just nipped this, you know, and nipped the pieces. Uh, okay, so not cutting. You're not going to cut glass. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. You're that afraid of cutting glass, really? You don't really have to cut glass for the Christmas trees. Oh, oh, I, I, I know what you're asking. Okay, so let me show you. You'll find out early. You're as scared. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, so what you can use is this stuff called fire glass. So here, here it is in black. Comes in all different colors. Here it is in black. Um, I've got silver back there. Now it comes reflective and non-reflective. So these are reflective with the mirror on there. Um, here I got it in gold. And ideally you want the quarter inch. Yeah, this is more like it, right? Okay, ideally you want the quarter inch pieces. And even though they say quarter inch, there's some big pieces in there. But you can buy this on Amazon if you just look up fire glass. Um, Here's here's the gold. These are those big vases from um, Hobby Lobby. This one, uh, you know, it's not reflective, but it sure is beautiful. This would make a great Christmas tree. And I think they call this one Solex. Yeah, I do have quite a collection. I know, I'm addicted. Um, I, you know, you could possibly even make a Christmas tree out of this stuff from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. I don't know. Maybe on a smaller scale, it comes in all different colors. <laughs> you know? Um, you could do, you know, you could do seashells, like little pieces of seashell like this. It wouldn't be as, as um, shiny pretty, but, you know, you could. 
And of course, if you want to buy, uh, I have, I can sell you, I sell one pound bags for $6 plus shipping. So this one I think was um, amber or, or something like that. I don't remember the color, but it's right here. And then I also have a darker chocolate brown. I bought this for the center of my sunflowers. And then also, Yoli, you can get, and I'm going to go through all this, you can get smaller ones like this from Michael's. And it's um, vase filler. I have put them in different jars. But this is what it looks like when it's from Michael's. They have it like this. They started selling them in bags like this now. And then they also sell them in containers like this. And I did a video, I was just at Michael's last week and I showed that in a video. If you scroll back through uh, in this group, you'll see it. And then you can use beads. I'm gonna do a Christmas tree with this bead set. And this is from Hobby Lobby. I think this is gonna look great. Um, so I don't know if you've ever really looked at the bead sets at Hobby Lobby, but and the, even this would look great. And then um, for the jewels, um, you can even use like stuff like this too, these kinds of beads. This was, I think I have a photo of this bead set um, on a canvas, but I just didn't resin it. Um, what else was I gonna show you? Sorry, let me get up. Um, Oh, and the other thing we're going to use, I have hella beads, yeah. The other thing, um, these just came out. I found these at, these are smaller. These are half the size of the normal gems. You see that? And this beautiful mermaid set, I don't know where they are at the moment. See my messy studio? And I got to get back and deal with my resin. But um, I don't know where it is at the moment, but there's this set called Mermaid Mix. <gasps> the most beautiful colors, and they're, but it's only at Joann's. So go grab those because they're really gorgeous. Um, I just don't know where I have them laying at the moment. <laughs> so don't mind me. But yeah, we're going to go over, um, I've put an announcement in here. Um, we're going to go over, I think it's on Thursday, somewhere in here I put an announcement about, I'm going to talk about materials and stuff. I'm going to talk about supplies. Because we're not just going to do beads and stuff, I also we're also going to paint some and stuff like that. So anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. Who else is here in here with, with us? Did you see this one? This is gonna be, I'm gonna cut this up. Wouldn't this be great for Christmas tree branches? It was like so perfect. I saw this at um, Home Goods and had to get it. Did you see these? You saw these, right? <laughs> Once I start yapping, that's it. Anyway, here's my glass collection, some of it. I have more on the other side of my studio. It's ridiculous. All right, Yoli, and whoever else is here. Yes, I do want to do a sugar skull. I will. Um, I'm going to let you go, and I'll talk to you later. So glad you joined us. Have a good night. And if you have any questions at all, just drop them below and make sure you tag me, you know, to spell out my name, and that way I'll get notified. All righty. Talk to you later. Bye.